Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Monday, June 22nd, 2020. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. You're ready to kick off Monday with a bang. So let's take a look at what we've got going on. Well, Friday we had kind of a, well, an uncomfortable situation. Everything was looking really, really good until we started hearing news about coronavirus um, issues and Apple actually closing some stores due to a resurgence in some of the states in the South. And that started a little bit of a selling uh, wave. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the morning edition of the Morning Market Prep video, Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have kind of an interesting situation where we um, had Asian markets last night close just modestly lower. European markets were uh, um, up earlier this morning, all showing green across the board. And now they have whipsawed and are bearish across the board, but just modestly. And the U.S. futures are still trying to push for a gap up open this morning, as if we don't care about no stinking virus. So kind of an interesting situation. Let's take a look at the technicals here and see what we can determine from this. First off, we have um, in the chart, we do have to recognize the fact that we have a trend that has so far held up really, really well. And although we are in a current downtrend, we can see that, and on Friday, we put in a bearish engulfing candle here on the diamonds. We've got futures trying to push for a positive open. Now, it's just a slightly positive open right now. Right now, Dow futures are up about 124 points, pushing for a little bit of bullishness here as we try to hold on to um, our trend and some of these price support levels here in the chart. So let's keep a close eye on that this morning. Um, it's hard to know with the VIX being as elevated as, as it is, anything is possible. So just stay focused on that. And let's take a look at some of the technicals here on the diamonds. If we take a look here, we do have to recognize the fact that this is another failure at the 200 day moving average. But we ended up at the end of the day holding right there at the 500 day. So is this catastrophic? Probably not. As a matter of fact, we could have that possibility that we slip into a consolidation. If the bulls really don't care about coronavirus, there is that possibility that we could slip into kind of a wide ranging consolidation. Um, can be quite a little bit of danger in that because if we take a look at the Dow itself um, and just kind of measure Friday's high to low, from our high to our low, we had a reversal of 680 plus points in that move. So when I say rather dangerous, we could whip back and forth big point moves in this market due to the high volatility that we've seen. So just a few things to kind of take note of and something to pay attention to here. Could be a little bit challenging um, today and we'll just have to see if the bulls really can ignore the virus situation. Just say, hey, it's not happening. Um, we're, we don't care. Um, let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, if we look at the SPY now, here technically we're in a much better situation than the SPY. I showed the 34 EMA has crossed up over the 200 um, simple moving average, which is showing considerable bullish strength here on the market. We're holding up above that 200 day moving average. Now I will say that the majority of the lift in the SPY lately has been the push in the NASDAQ and that's been those big tech internet giants holding us up. So far they've been successful at continuing to maintain that market dominance, pushing the market higher. 
we'll have to watch, wait, and see. Now, we do have to recognize the fact that we are still showing this downtrend here in the chart and that we did put a bearish engulfing candle in here on Friday. But we're holding these support levels. We're holding above our 200-day moving average. Our 50-day moving average is continuing to rise. So, so far, technically speaking, we're holding up pretty well and that would um, kind of lean more toward that possibility that maybe we slip into a bit of a wide range consolidation. Right now, um, SPY futures are pointing to a bullish open. We're pointing to about a 17 point gap up here in the SPY this morning. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that and see if those bulls can actually push through this coronavirus news. If we take a look at the queues, the queues obviously very, very strong. There's just been nothing but buying here in the NASDAQ, we're still holding above um, this breakout high here. We came back and tested that as support, tested it hard, and bounced right off of it. As a matter of fact, we came very close on Friday for a, um, a, a retest of all-time highs. Now, when I say retest, that can mean a couple things to folks. First off, it can mean the possibility that this could prove to be a double top high. But when we look at the price pattern in the chart, I don't want to make that leap. You can see we have this consolidating move right in here. And that possible consolidating move in a bullish trend could suggest that if we just hold right in here, if we consolidate, we could build enough energy to pop right out of there and continue on up here in the NASDAQ. So keep a close eye on that. 50-day moving average continues to rise. It's just if nothing seems to matter here, we're going to buy, 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 buy. Um, it does make you wonder how long that kind of attitude can continue. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM, also on for Friday, came really close to that bearish engulfing candle, but managed to hold the Thursday low. In a show of strength right at the end of the day, we managed to push that back up. What we do want to also recognize, though, is that we have failed our 500-day moving average up here. We are in a current downtrend, although our overall uptrend remains in force. And we do have um, just a another failure here or an attempt that we couldn't get through that 200 day. So kind of an interesting mix of technical patterns here, kind of uh, as if the market just isn't quite sure here in IWM what to do. Now, one of the things that caused that problem is we saw financials on Friday uh, take kind of a hit. And you can see the financials uh, are a big um, component of IWM. And they also held that Thursday low just by a skosh. And they're trying to hang on um, to this upside move. But we do have to consider that downtrend still being in play here on those financials. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX is the place where we have just a little bit of worry and concern. You've heard me say this multiple times before. I'm never really worried about that first big wave of selling. It's when we pull back and prove to hold price support that I start to get a little bit nervous about the potential of true panic coming into the market. So, so far, we've broken above the downtrend here in the VIX, and we're holding that here. And if you look at the moving average, remember moving averages on the VIX are a little bit funny, but um, what we what we did here on Friday, a big bullish engulfing candle, and we did hold that 50-day moving average, but more importantly, we held the downtrend and we held some price in here as support. If I draw, um, get rid of the moving averages and we take a look at some of the drawings I've got here on the chart, we're kind of wedged between an interesting area here. We have some price support in this chart right across here and we did hold that as support but we're just barely underneath that resistance in here above a 35 handle and you can see we've had these spikes up in here that 
really can create some problems if that fear starts to come in. So let's watch that close. What it does tell me is that the market's going to have significant sensitivity to news events. So if we do get more news events or new numbers uh, continuing to show those coronavirus cases continuing to rise, and if health officials are, are correct, they're saying we could see an exponential increase this week, then that might have a little bit of impact here. And we could see, um, well, like we've seen in Europe this morning, a bit of a whipsaw. We could see um, this pop and possible drop today. So watch that carefully as this VIX is really pointing to us that there is some significant concern, even though the, the pre-market right now is trying to prove to us that there's nothing out there that we care about. Let's take a look at, um, T2122. Now T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And T2122 really had a pretty substantial pullback on Friday after we'd popped back up, that gap up open on Friday, we'd popped all the way up into here into that bearish reversal zone. And then we ended up with a pop and drop where we gap up and, and then drive down uh, the rest of the day. Now, I don't know if that's gonna happen again today, but we're trying to gap up this morning and we'll want to watch this carefully. Remember, T2122 doesn't tell us direction. It just tells us when we've reached kind of an overbought condition for a period of time, and it can also tell us when we've reached an, um, an oversold condition for a period of time. So right now we're kind of right here in the middle in T2122, and I really think we have that possibility that we could go either direction very easily, so watch that close today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar and see what our economic calendar has to say about the day. Now, if we take a look here, you'll notice that we have existing home sales coming this morning and that's really the only thing that's a consensus number and lately housing has been one of those bright shiny spots in the market you can see our consensus is looking for kind of interesting just a slightly less number than we saw um, on the last reading so we'll want to watch that and see whether that consensus uh, creates an issue for us or if that number comes in strong uh, the bulls may react strongly to that let's keep in mind the rest of the week we've got well we've got some pretty big reports coming this week a little bit of news events that we'll have to be um, watching a little bit less fed speak and a lot more economic news uh, to deal with this week. On the earnings front, we don't have much going on. We're winding down second quarter earnings and of course we'll be ramping up um, the next quarter here before too long. But we do have a couple to make note of today. We've got 11 companies um, reporting earnings today and we've only got a couple of them that I would consider to be you know particularly notable. Let's take a look at JKS. JKS will be reporting right now it's indicating that it's trying to move just a slight bit higher here trying to hold on to that 50-day moving average um, here in the chart so let's keep an eye on JKS holding on to a little bit of price support in here as well and TTM TTM would be one to maybe pay attention to this has got a pretty darn good price pattern in here as you can see nice little trend and we're trying to key or hold off of this level of support this morning we're looking at a little bit of bullishness trying to pop up here so watch TTM closely as it reports today um, um, with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading, and I want to wish you great profits on this Monday. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube, and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also guys, if you feel that this video was worthy, if it was um, something that helped you plan your day, if you could do me a favor and click that um, thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment helps us to continue to grow and guys I just want to say thank you so much uh, the channel this weekend we just popped over 13,000 subscribers thank you guys you guys are awesome I truly truly appreciate it I'm very humbled by all of the great comments you guys thank you so much 
So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that are of interest and things that we might want to keep an eye on? Well, I, I have been mentioning here lately, and I want to make sure and also mention that as I bring up these stocks, please remember these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security um, at all. They're just a... Um, they're there's something that you can take a look at and evaluate and remember everyone has to do their own due diligence on each and every chart if we take a look at GLD here now I hold a position in GLD so I may have a little bias here but I kind of have the belief that as we continue to print money the way we are we could see dollar run into a little bit of a problem the dollar and we do have this little uptrend going on and you can see gold had a good day on Friday Friday, trying to push up but we still haven't been able to break out of this resistance level so keep that in mind I wouldn't want to chase this uh, trade but let's watch this if that can can pop out and hold some support could be some upside opportunity and by the way I'm holding this as a long-term hold not looking at this as a real quick trade so keep an eye uh, possibly on gold. You may also want to keep an eye on some of the oil sector stocks. Take a look at USO. Now USO has been holding up. This is a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout pattern where we break above that 50 day moving average and then we, as we hold in here, we want to see uh, those buyers pick up. And uh, USO has been one of those that's looking pretty good in this pattern. There is one concern here on this chart, however, However, that I want to point out and that normally in the in the round of bottom breakout pattern I want to see that 50-day moving average actually turning up and so far that 50-day moving average hasn't turned to really provide that extra level of support in there maybe it will soon let's watch that close but USO um, certainly a possibility and something you might want to take note of take a look at XPO XPO is another one of those um, stocks that has, has held up pretty well and you can see we crossed uh, back above our 200 and 500 here we've got our 200 crossing back up through the 500 everything's looking pretty positive here in this chart now when I take all the all the moving averages off of there and just take a look at the chart you notice that we broke above this price resistance in this chart and we're kind of struggling we we really did break our trend here but we've regained that support area and we're consolidating right here so it is definitely worth keeping an eye on if we can take this little um consolidation range if we can do something with that bullishly and pop on through we may have an opportunity here in the chart so keep an eye on xpo could be trying to uh, move itself on up we also want to take a look at some stocks that are holding those support levels and are more in the defensive sector now right now on friday defensive sector everything really cut got pulled into the sell-off on Friday but MDLZ has been kind of hanging in here holding up after breaking through some resistance here holding it as support might be worth keeping an eye on it's not quite ready for prime time you can see we failed that 200 day moving average might need a little bit more love here before this can really uh, get going but it's worthy of a watch list something to pay attention to take a look at Nvidia nvidia rose on friday and although the market saw some selling notice that we pulled back just a little tiny bit here in nvidia there just really was not much interest in selling here on nvidia so let's watch this we may have to slide a couple more days over into this trend but watch for that possibility that nvidia could pop up out of there continue to move on higher in that chart looking pretty good overall um, pay systems have been extremely strong now on friday we saw a little bit of selling coming in here on sq and one thing i would say is want to be careful after this many days up we could really slip into a consolidation or um, even a pullback to come back and test some support levels in this chart but sq paypal both are stocks that have been holding up in really good trends so a little bit of rest a little bit of pullback possibly even a little consolidation over here to trend sets up that opportunity for more upside so keep an eye on charts like that
Another place that you might want to take a peek is some of those defensive sector stocks that could do well even if the coronavirus pops back up and that would be CLX. Clorox has had a incredible run here just recently. Um, gapped up on Friday with a little tiny rest by the end of the day. Now I wouldn't want to chase this this far up in the move. What I would want to see though is a little bit of pullback here to trend or a consolidation over to trend and that opportunity to catch that next entry into the chart so keep an eye on starbucks looking pretty good overall so there's a few charts for you to look at hey i want to wish you guys all a fantastic day wish you all of the best we'll see you right back here bright and early sunday morning everyone take care be safe have a great profitable day